the first day I brought them home, they were small, about 50 pounds then, and I put them, all I had then was that little, that small pen you see inside the, the big pen, and so I said, oh, I'm going to let them, I'm going to get them out. I had a halter for each one of them. <coughs> I said, I'm going to get them out and uh, walk them on their halter. Well, would you believe they got loose before I could get them haltered? They got in the Gladney pasture behind us. I nearly had a fit. I said, oh dear, how am I going to call those tech students who raised Molly on a bottle and let them know I lost the sheep the first day, the first hour I had them home? So I, I didn't know what to do. Jimmy wasn't here. I had no help to get those sheep corralled. I went over, well, I took my vehicle, took my truck over, and um, went into the pasture and tried to get them. Well, they would see me, and they would take off running. So, uh, but they took off running. I said, what am I going to do? So then I thought about calling W.A. Spigner. He used to work, he used to have cattle over there, and I said, W.A. will know what to do. And uh, sure enough, I was able to get him. I said, W.A., can you help me? And, you know, that's the nice thing, Lisa, about country people. Everybody pitches in, and they'll help you. They will come to your rescue. He came over here, and uh, he said, I'll show, you, I'll show you how to do it. So first, we started with Molly because she was tamer. And uh, he came up behind her, just like this, and he grabbed that hind leg and just picked her up and then he was holding two legs and then he had four legs. He had two legs and two legs. And I had my truck over there. We threw her in the back of that truck so we had one of them. And uh, then we tried to catch Mario and he was wild as, as a March hare. Now at that point, I thought Mario was a girl. But he squatted to pee and I said, oh, you're not Mario. You're not Mary. You're Ma you're Mario. First, I thought he was a girl, so I was calling him Mary. But when I saw him pee, I said, "I've got Mario instead of <laughs> Mar Mary." <laughs> so male and female. But then I realized Mario's been castrated, so okay, no babies in the works. But she could, if I bred her, she could have she could have babies. But you know, I don't know anything about birthing the lamb. Papa says. No. So. Hey, let's go show her where we feed every morning. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. No, what? Can I run? Here. Baby. coffee and all is right with the world and you know it just makes me wish my grandchildren would be here with me Christopher Ansley and Matthew but I said well if I can't have them here the next best thing is to make a DVD I keep calling a video a DVD so that they can see all my animals and see how happy I am with my animals 
we're hoping. Um, I've shared them once. We shared them right before the fall, but uh, <coughs> and there really is an art to shearing. So I'm hoping somebody's going to come to town who can help me shear, and uh, they can be sheared twice a year. And you wash the wool. You can do a couple of things with it. You can make felt out of it. That's real easy to do. Uh, or you can uh, wash it very gently and carefully. And then you can hand spin it. Or you can use a spinning wheel. I don't have either. Uh, I don't have any of the equipment. But I'm going to get some equipment that will allow me to hand spin. And you can make your own yarn. You can dye it. You know, like I can pick some of the flowers that will dye yellow or, or green. Or and when they get soaking wet, that wool, it, it soaks up water like it's a, a straw. Each fiber of the wool is, acts like a straw, and it will soak up. So it takes them a good while to dry off. Her flat of her back, right <laughs> out there the other day, flat of her back. <laughs> You may have not known this, but Thomas Jefferson kept sheep on the White House lawn to keep the lawn mowed. <laughs> it was obvious that uh, Pat wasn't going to be able to keep the sheep out of the church any longer. So it was a matter of bringing them here, getting rid of them, and I, that was going to be a bad scene. So I started looking to see how we could do it. And so this building was already here. That's our storage building. So we built the pen here and enclosed that. And it's open around behind the, the existing building, as we, you'll see when we get on down here. <clears throat> and so they, that's a run for them. They come down here. that closed where they can't get out it comes on and then we built this around a, a chain link fence that we had for come on around here and we can we can see it i don't know if there's enough sun or what have you but here's where they come and here's where they stay and this gives them protection uh, whenever it rains it blocks the north wind from them and Sometimes she wants to, at night, lock them up in here. She just shut that gate and they're contained in here. But most of the time now, since they're so used to being out here, we just leave that open and they've got the run of, of this and all of that up there. Plenty of ventilation also. Oh, they're going to be excited about this honeysuckle blooming. Let's see. Um. <laughs> I want to be careful. They're pretty sure-footed, but this is not completely safe, so they could go through that through that fence. But let me show them this honeysuckle. They smell like they are just Isn't that wonderful. Ooh, makes me want to eat some. <laughs> <laughs> Mario, Mario. 